Emilio Nevada was born on August 23, 1962 in San Antonio, Texas. He began his career as a performer after studying music at Texas State University in San Marcos. He sang lead vocals in the band David Lee Garza y Los Musicales before leaving to become a solo performer at age 27. Emilio quickly rose to national fame as one of the first performers to sing in both Spanish and English. Marketing and endorsement deals with companies such as Coca-Cola and Miller Lite soon followed. Even wider, his popularity ensued after he released several country music albums in the 1990s. He won a Grammy Award for Best Tejano Album in 2002 for Acudarte and a Latin Grammy Award for Best Tejano Album in 2007 for De Nuevo. His fans will always know him as the king of Tejano music. And here we are at the San Juan Cemetery in San Antonio. This cemetery is not easy to find. Uh, if anybody out there wants to visit his grave, you got to do a little bit of digging on Google, uh, but you will be able to find it. And as we go through the gates, we're going to visit the grave of Emilio Nevada, one of the pioneers, if you will, of Tejano music. Him, along with Selena, were the ones to get the uh, music genre popular. A very small cemetery, very decorative, as you can see right here. And uh, here he is, the man himself. Emilio Nevada the third, August 23rd, 1962 to May 16th, 2016. Um, on May 16th of 2016, Emilio went out for a jog and he came back and afterwards he collapsed and uh, unfortunately he died. Uh, they did an autopsy and uh, basically he had a uh, an artery that supplies blood to your heart it had a 90 percent uh, blockage in there and uh, that is how he died uh, very very sad uh, he was a pretty young guy he was only 53 years old you know and as we get older, it's always important for us to go to the doctor and, you know, we got to start checking things that we didn't even know we needed to check when we were in our 20s and 30s. It's all about the progression of life, if you will. But anyways, uh, rest in peace to this man. And let me say this really quickly. If you're a fan of country music, you don't have to be a fan of Tejano music because he did sing in English. Uh, and if you like country music, Give this man a try. Uh, he sounds a little bit, just a little bit like George Strait. And if you like George Strait, I think you'll like some of Emilio's music right here. All right, guys, uh, I'm out of here. I'll see you on the next vlog. Peace out.